What's up guys, welcome back to the Jack and Daxter HD Collection Let's Play in the last episode. We finished off the Molten Crater, or the Volcanic Crater, and the Mountain Pass. And uh, now we're headed into Snowy Mountain. And over here you're going to notice that some Lurker Yetis are going to start attacking you. That's kind of weird and normal, but uh, they were kind of scary to me as a child. I used to be scared of those things like crazy. They would come out of nowhere and I was like, oh no, they're attacking! Ah! But uh, what you want to do is, oh crap, dude these guys are crazy. Um. I think they have an unlimited spawn, so they'll continuously spawn in the snow. So uh, what we want to do is here is uh, there's multiple paths in this area. It's actually a pretty large area, and uh, it's kind of like boggy swamp. I don't know what I did wrong. A lot of you guys said I'm doing it wrong, and I didn't know what I was doing wrong. I did it that way for 10 years, and um, that's the way I just did boggy swamp. I just did it backwards, and it worked. But uh, here, I'm doing it this way, so uh, you're gonna head over here, and red eco vents are all over this place, so KO Ken times 10! And uh, we're gonna come over here and destroy all of these lurkers surrounding this guy. He's on this wooden log thingy, and um, when you destroy all the lurkers, he's gonna jump off. Make sure you're powered up with the red eco so you can punch his shield and burn it to smithereens and just take him out. Now, you're gonna wanna do that for every single one of those guys you find, because there's gonna be like three or four more. And once you find them, you're gonna get a power cell for that. So, uh, I'm gonna clean this area up, and now let's head over here. Um, let's see what we got. Uh, I'm gonna power up. These boulders, now, this is actually like something from Crash Bandicoot. I remember there was something like this, and wow, that guy was rude. What the hell, man? Um, and someone also pointed out to me that. In uh, Crash Bandicoot 2, remember those plants that used to eat you in those water, waterish levels? I forgot what they're called, but it was like a purple plant. Well, in Jack and Daxter right here, in Samos' house, his hut, uh, there's a plant just like that. It's an Easter egg. Whoever points it out, thank you so much. I forgot their usernames, man. But um, another thing, you guys want to all add me on the PSN. My PSN is on my channel page, but I, I really want to make a new PSN because you guys filled up my list within the matter of days it was crazy and oh crap yeah damn it why do i always fall on like the most important part of my speeches but uh you're gonna see there was a capped eco vent and there was two precursor boxes in there so we're gonna see what we're gonna have to do with those but um make sure you step on all of these generators guys they generate these force fields that are really annoying and uh, you might not realize this, but you're gonna get a power cell from all, all of them, so uh, make sure you, you jump on every single one you find. They can be a bit challenging, like right here. I'm on this, the ice, and uh, wow, that thing is just annoying as hell. Like, it punches you right in the face, and then it sends you flying backwards, but uh, here you go. No, damn it! Come on, man! No! Yes, yes, yes! Eat that! Alright, let's power up again. Um, I, I'm powering up for no reason right now. I'm just going crazy with this head down here. Whoa! Alright, we got those precursor orbs. We're good. We're good. Uh, okay, now this is a really uh, dickish move on Naughty Dog's part. Uh, you see these trees over here that I just passed? There's something hidden behind it, and that took me like a month as a kid to find- Whoa, don't attack the spot as the spikes out. Uh, it took me months to find that split, that spot. Um, there's a lot of hidden areas that took me a long time to find. Spider Cave in this area, they had some hidden parts that took me like months to find. It was crazy. Now, come on! Come on! Come on, no, he doesn't want to die! Oh, okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Let's get the hell out of here. Um, let's head over here. And, uh, <clears throat> stupid bunny. Here we go. And bam. Alright, that's four scout flies. Nice, nice. Four scout flies is perfect. Oh, oh, wow. We're back up here. Now, uh, we should have taken that red KO Ken power stuff and came over here. Let's get it. Um,. Here we go. Now we're gonna head over here and bust this guy's ass. Let's kill him. Bow. There we go. Nice. Now he's dead. Now, uh, let's take this bridge over here. Now, guys, this is like the only other time in this game where you're gonna get to use the flat flat. I know. You get to use um, him for only two missions. That's kind of sad, but. Here we go, guys. The final mission we get to spend with this flat flat. Here we go. Okay, now we're gonna jump across each one of these pads. It's really fluid and kind of easy. Um. 
You could actually try to do this with Jack. I think he could try to dodge roll. I don't know. But uh, let's do this. Here we go. Head over here and... Really easy, guys. I don't know how you can die while using this thing. I'm going to shut up now before I die. Here we go. No! Oh, my... Oh, of course, I died. The Let's Play curse added again. Oh, man. Okay, last switch. Come on, guys. We can do this. We can do this. Don't look down. 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 Don't look down, don't look down, don't look down. Yes. Yes. Eat that. Okay, now. Uh, if you don't do this, you're not going to be able to activate what's underneath this patch. So look at this. It opens the gate to this little fort over here. I used to think you'd have to go in there like guns blazing, killing everything, but it's actually like a pretty quiet fort. But look at that, 75 power cells. That's three forts of this game complete in three, um, in 11 episodes. Wow, I was about to say three. What you want to do is jump on this pad and head back up. And, uh, let's see. Oh, more precursor orbs. We can head in there, but I think we should head over here. Now, this is the area I'm talking about. In here, it's a hidden path hidden by these trees. It's really hard to find. And ah, these things look so weird. Don't touch me that shit, yo. God damn no! Okay, slowly progress through, it, through this place. Oh man. It's a really ma messed up obstacle course. They got ice and stuff here and... Oh no, 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 no! Ah! Oh no, no, no! <laughs> Yeah, yeah! Who's boss? I'm the boss! Alright, let's head over here now. Don't die! Alright, here we go guys. A yellow eco vent. I bet you didn't see that one coming. Bazinga! <laughs> but, uh, here we go. Yellow eco vents around the world will now be opened. And that means we can pretty much complete this game 100% from here on out. Now, uh, there we go. That vent was at the start. The one we couldn't open up before, so let's head over there in a second, but, uh, how do we get out of here? Oh, there it is, an ice ramp. Nice. Yeah. You know, there was a lot of things in this game that the developers wanted to put in, but they didn't get to. And I realize this now that the games like this, there are a lot of things that the developers want to put in, but they try to rush everything. Like Naughty Dog, they rush. The that's what they do. They make really great games in a short amount of times, but this isn't the full game that they were planning on making. If they had more time, they would have made it like even more better. But um, this is actually like a half-assed piece of crap for them. This is how good a game that was rushed comes out. That's how every game for them comes out. They they look at their games and they're like, uh, man, I could have did that so much better. Why did we do that? We didn't get to finish this and stuff. Oh, no, 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 no. What the hell, man? Okay. Okay. We're almost done. Sit down, son. Come on. Come on. Come, 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 come. No! No! Yes! 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 <laughs> okay, um... Here we go now. Uh, let's jump across this bridge. No! Whoa! God damn it! All right, now, in this cave, it's gonna be a bunny attack. Oh, power cell, I didn't even realize I was there. <laughs> Let's head in here now, and uh, there's gonna be a bunny attack, a lurker bunny attack. So, yeah, guys, if you guys are a fan of bunnies, I don't think you will be after this. Uh, let's head in here, and yeah. Now, when you're powered up with Red Eagle, you can actually destroy Dark Eco boxes with your kicks and stuff because your range is actually increased. So you can actually just spin kick and destroy them like that. And uh, it's actually pretty easy. Just make your way through the cave and kill all the lurker bunnies. I know. And uh, there we go, guys. An easy power cell. So, uh, Bazinga. <laughs> I've been watching a lot of that show, The Big Bang Theory. And I saw this picture. I'm, I think I'm going to put it on the screen here. It was a picture of Dexter's Laboratory and the Big Bang Theory characters. And it was just crazy. I was like, whoa, your mind has been blown. Uh, I'm going to post it. I'm going to show it on this video. It was really funny. Um, But here we go. Over this bridge. And I think we got to get underneath this bridge too. Let's head on here. 
Yep, scout fly and a couple orbs. Oh no 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 no! Just get off me, son! Get off me! Yo, you don't want to mess with me. I'm straight out of the hood, son. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right, now you get to power up and run over here. Now this one's actually a pretty long run, so you want to rush. And uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Die, bunny, die! I'll get the two big guys first, and where's the bunny? Where's the bunny? Where's the bunny? Get over here! Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Whoops! Dead. There we go, guys. Holla at your boy, get lots of money. Swag. Alright, now, uh, let's head back over here. I think we can head into the fort now. I'm pretty sure that's all we have to do now. Um, so, yeah, guys, what you guys been playing lately? I noticed a lot of you guys are playing, like, Modern Warfare 3, and so have I, but... I've been starting to play Killzone 3, guys, and they're making that game $15 on the PSN in a couple of days. That's an announcement that just came out today. $15 for Killzone 3 in a couple of days is going to be put on the PSN, so if you guys want to buy it, go ahead. It's going to be really good, and I, I just fell in love with that game now because Modern Warfare 3 is so noob-friendly. I love playing Call of Duty, but it's just too easy on that game. If my four-year-old cousin can just hold down the R1 button and run around the map and get like a 10 kill streak, it's crazy. If they can get an AC-130, that's even crazier, but I miss Modern Warfare 2, I miss Black Ops. Even though Modern Warfare 2 is easy too, it still had some sort of skill with stopping power, but now that everybody just rocks Assassin and it's annoying. And uh, if you guys ever rocked like Blind Eye Assassin and Dead Silence, I know I'm talking about Call of Duty here for a sec, but if you guys ever rocked that class, you would see a dramatic increase on your skill level for no reason. And uh, here we go guys, now uh, this is like a really big snowy obstacle course. And I really like this place for some reason, it's just so... Every time I like see winter areas in these games, it always reminds me of like a warm home. I don't know, it just makes the home feel so much warmer and stuff. But uh, here we go, we're gonna come over here and uh, more power cells, more precursor orbs. What else is new? Heading over here. We gotta swing across these things. It's like a really good workout. No wonder Jack has awesome biceps. He's gonna get super buff. And I think it's turning daytime, so the sunlight's coming out and it's looking really fresh and new. Really nice graphics right now. And uh, right now I feel like I'm about to go get some hot cocoa or something, I'm really hot. And uh, I mean, like really hot cocoa with some marshmallows. Oh man, I should be doing that while playing this game. <laughs> but anyway, uh, <laughs> enough of my fantasies. Let's head over here. And uh, there you go, power cell. Nice, nice. <laughs> All right, now let's head over here and uh, let's get let's get up there. Yeah, I think we should head up there. Come on, come! Oh man, you know what? Let's go over here. Nah, 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 nah. Let's head over here. There's three vents over here, and I, these precursors are just waiting for me to loot them. So let's head up. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready! Alright, so, uh, whoa, scout fly, nice. Wait, is that another scout? There's two scout flies within seeing distance of each other, that's crazy. Uh, you know what, I'm not gonna do the dodge roll just yet, because I feel like I'm gonna get destroyed. Oh, crap! Daxter, where'd you go? Uh, let's see, head over here. And over here. Now, guys, what games are you guys looking forward to this year? I'm looking forward to, like, a multiple variety of games because Mass Effect 3 is coming out. Oh, eight more precursor orbs. Okay, guys, so at this point, you should have 192. No more, no less. And, um, don't worry about the other eight. I know exactly where they are. But what games are you guys looking forward to? I've been playing Mass Effect 2 lately because I never really liked the game before. But now I really do. I like the graphics and everything. And I'm going to be playing Mass Effect 3 later in a couple of weeks, actually. And... I can't wait for- Oh no, 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 no! Uh, okay, we can just jump up. But, Mass Effect 3, Assassin's Creed 3, uh, what other games are coming out? I know, uh, Sly 4, that's definitely one of the big hitters this year. Uh, and there was a couple more, um, Black Ops 2, of course, you know, Black Ops Dukes, whatever you want to call it. And uh, there's seven scout flash for you guys, but, uh, what are your, gonna, what are your games that you're gonna buy this year? Uh, Okay, now you want to head back over here and back in the cave where the capped off eco vent is. We're going to head up here and we're going to get some of this eco. Now there's a, a metal box hidden on that ledge and uh, there's a power cell. That was a pretty tricky one as a child for me. I don't know why, but 
Oh crap, dead by bunny? I'm gonna kill this bunny. But yeah, I didn't know how to unlock that yellow eco vent and it was really hard for me to find that metal box to a way to destroy it, but uh, get away from me, bunny. Uh, let's get these boxes. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. Okay, there we go, guys. Every orb and power cell on this godforsaken mod. No! Oh. Yay! All right, now we're gonna head to the oracle. Seek the pure light, for within its flame, the answers reside. You can gain my power cells by bringing 120 precursor orbs for each. You have obtained another power cell. For your effort, a power cell is the reward. Alright now guys, now that we got the yellow eco vents open, we can actually head back into the mountain pass and finally 100% this place. And uh, every time we get the uh, Oracle's power cells, I always feel like we killed him. He has no more eyes, he doesn't talk to you anymore. It's really crazy and creepy in a weird way. But what you want to do is fly all the way back over here and uh, there should be an eco vent that wasn't open previously. And this is a pretty tricky one right here. Um, Pretty hard to find for some people, especially me as a child. Me as a child, I had a lot of difficulty playing these type of games. And uh, look how polished this place is, it's really nice. Whoa! Psh. Okay, here we go, here's the vent. And what you want to do is grab it and blow up this rock. Now behind this rock is power cell number four of the mountain pass. Now we're finally 100% completed this place, so we don't have to head back. But uh, now we're gonna head to the next area of this area. The most hated area in this game for me. I hate this area and I, I think I'm gonna be doing a lot of face palming and a lot of fast forwarding this one. But uh, in the next episode, we're gonna be heading off to Spider Cave. Please leave a rating guys and this has been the Cobras. I'm out. Peace. Love you guys.